This is really odd. If we have to halve a number and all the digits are even, like 82, we can breathe a sigh of relief. We just halve the digits one at a time. Half of eight is four and half of two is one. So half of 82 is 41, barely rose the heart rate. But what if both digits are odd, like 37? Now the brain's sitting up straight. Halving odd numbers gives us decimals and that doesn't usually make anyone's day better. But let's see how we can tackle it. One option for halving odd numbers is to halve the even number below and then stick a 0.5 on the end. So to halve 37, we could halve 36 to give 18, then stick a 0.5 on the end to give 18.5. But what if we don't know what half of 36 is? Well, we could break it down into a 30 and a 6, halve those separately, then put them back together again. Half of 30 is 15, half of 6 is 3, 15 plus 3 is 18. Now we can stick our 0.5 on the end to give 18.5. But maybe that still feels like a lot. Well, we could halve the digits individually, like we did when they were both even. But instead of halving three, we could halve the next digit down. That's two. Half of two is one. Then we give that extra 10 to the six to make 16, and we halve that to give eight. So half of 36 is 18. Here's the thing. There are many different strategies when it comes to maths, and what's best for some of us isn't necessarily best for others. But if we allow ourselves the freedom to play with numbers, to use them flexibly, to accept that a method is only better if it's better for us. We'll grow in confidence and we can explore other strategies which may be more efficient when we're ready for them. Eventually, we may look at 37 and feel good about breaking it into a 30 and a 7, halving those separately to give 15 and 3.5, then adding them back together to give 18.5. Maths isn't a collection of unrelated events. It's a series of ideas that builds upon the last. So if something feels tricky, there's usually a way to break it down into something that's more manageable. If we we find the methods that will meet us where we are will ensure that even the odds will be in our favour.